Hey, what's up, guys? This is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sartuche. <clears throat> and yes, sir, we got a lot of video footage from when we were out of Goose Island State Park Pier fishing. And it's uh, me the day before my hip surgery that I was going to have a total hip left hip replacement done. So I was trying to get as much video footage as I could while I was out there fishing with Team Real Locos. Me and Captain Eric had also started beating up our our uh, bait le leaders with the uh, fish bites that we had and also trying some of the chicken that was on the crab nets because we were also trying to see if we could catch any crab while we were out here out at Goose Island. You know, if y'all have seen that we've changed up some of our bait tactics because, like I said, just because we've caught one way before or another way before we want to ensure that we are trying out those different kind of tactics because each day is different when you're fishing some days they want whole baits some days they want part baits and you know you just got to kind of figure out what they're in the mood for or what's going to get the bite to turn on so with that being said you know you saw the big black drum that i already put on deck and we are still out here putting our baits out changing our programs and or testing our, our theories of what could work out there and that's part of fishing guys testing the different techniques and baits that might work for you when you're out there fishing No, this is the fish bites. Fish bites? Yeah. Click the clean. Almost. That was definitely a really healthy black draw, man. I know, he was pretty man. He really was pretty. For as, for as ugly as they say they are, man, I thought he was a pretty good looking fish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Almost as good as me. <laughs> now Ricky, now you're giving the fish too much props. <laughs> We can catch some on the hand line. Yeah, you saw that? Yeah. I just saw it took him down here. I was like, oh. Got out from the hole, right? You don't want to tie that hole up? Yeah, and we, could it? we could tie up that hole.
have on there? <laughs> yeah. Check this one. This one's gotten two good hits on it. Mm -hmm. uh, flat. Thing 
might have crossed me on that one, brother. See that game warden coming, he kicked that damn bucket over. <laughs> right. Yeah, that gets you. Yeah, there's that five percent rule, so yeah. you can use one small one and get away with it. Nobody's gonna say anything, but I wouldn't I wouldn't push it over that. Yeah. Yeah, it's like for every five you're allowed one or something one. I think it's five percent. Oh five. So I think technically, yeah, every twenty you're allowed yeah. one small one. Yep. Yeah. Every twenty. Yep. But I think, you know, I think one individual tends to be okay, no matter how many crabs you have. But once you go over one individual, yeah, you, you, think you might get some. Yeah, like looking at tickets. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right here. Yeah, I saw that. Come on, baby. That, that's a good hit, too. Come on, Kim. Don't put it that high. No. If you take off screaming, that rattle tip over. I used to have them on my little stand. Fourth guy down, and they would hit so hard the rod would be standing up like this, and I would catch it right there. And they were all slot drum. Yeah, 25 to 30s. Well, <laughs> you catch a lot of slots right over there. Oh, shit, though. But at night on, on shrimp, head on shrimp, mm. I think they had to have the head on there. It's from around 10 to 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning, you stringer full of damn black drum and redfish. Damn it. It's right over there. Like right over 
right on the other side of the bridge, you go on the other side where that, that bowl is at. It's like a little, it's like an island that goes this way where the water comes in and goes around a little island and goes back out like a little horseshoe. Mm -hmm. Just right there in that horseshoe, man, I go through there. All up and down there, it's a lot of keepers. Can you hear my back? Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Feels like, is that drum gonna go in there? I say, oh yeah, that, that next beast, man. Oh, yeah. That days are just, we're just messing around. I had all them dang cabbage jellyfish before the freeze came in and killed them out. Mm -hmm. The current had them going out right next to the pier. So I put, I put the net down to see how many I could catch in there. I couldn't even lift up the net. It just filled them up. There was like cabbage patch, damn jellyfish everywhere. Big old cabbage heads. Yeah, they don't look like they weigh, but they're heavy. Yeah. The whole net, it just full of them. Like it wouldn't even like move anymore. It was just, they were just packed in there. And then me trying to lift it up, I was like, oh shit, help? <laughs> I was like, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> yeah, it's just not a good idea. And right after that, that's when the drone started finally hitting. Trying to get it off my finger and I took my sleeve and stuff. You live in Rockport? I do. You do? Oh. It's not that far of a drive over here for you. No, it's like five minutes. That's good. Well, that's only because of the traffic lights. Right. Good spot. Real good spot to fish. Oh yeah, I've been oh, fishing yeah. here since I was a kid. We come from San Antonio when I was young. It blows me away how many black trout get caught off this thing in one day. Mm -hmm. yeah. All monsters too. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're not. I can't imagine there's that many black trout in the bay alone. You know, especially right in this spot. Yeah. That uh, that drum tournament of yours, the one I won, we caught 60 of them in probably four hours. I believe it. Yeah, it was I've good. seen it. I've seen it go that crazy for sure. We had three or four hooked up all at the same time yeah. right here. Just every, every couple of minutes, three or four, three or We got five, a six, uh, six fish hooked up the last time I was here. We mm -hmm. got a picture of six of us holding one all at the same time. Yeah. Just ridiculous. It's spoiled fishing. Yeah. There's no other type of fishing like that. So. Well, when Bob Hoff here was there. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've done two. 200 bull reds in about a four hour period off of there. I got a video of 15 people hooked up all at the same time. And we had eight bull reds on the floor. Like, But I have a bigger net than that, so we would pull up five at a time. Yeah. I wouldn't want to be the one doing the, the lift. Oh, you can't that. do it by yourself. No, no, no absolutely. Yeah, no. The net alone weighs about 75 pounds with the rope and everything. Easily, yeah. So, oh, the net five. itself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he made it for sharks. Yeah, he lowered the person down in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we would do that all the time, lower them down in the net. If we didn't have our next rope, just lay them yeah, to the kayak. So they can get in the water, get up, get up, climb out of the net and into the net, yeah. or into the kayak. Oh. Yeah. yeah, and the net worked out beautifully because if they were too tired to climb the, the rope or whatever, we'd just pull them up with the net. Yeah. A lot of faith in the people bringing you up, though. Yeah. <laughs> long call back well that's why it, it's about five or six people on the rope you know so and um, that that's a small rope that's what the main line looks like just going to the net the, the rope itself is an inch and a quarter so you, you got good grip on it I got you I'm on pitches 
Your net's definitely more robust than mine. Yeah, I, I built those out of my shop. Oh, cool. And this, this one, I just put it together real quick because we needed a net. Yeah. But normally when I sell them, they don't look too trashy like that. Right. <laughs> well, that rope's probably easier on your hands then because that, that one starts to that one starts to get old after the fifth or sixth drum. You know? Oh, that's been on there a couple years quick. now. Now the, the main the main rope is for that net, but the the landing the three anchor lines, yeah. that's not the way I normally do that. That's all you need for out here, though. Yeah. I hooked something big here out the other day that was not a drum. I didn't get a chance to see it, but it was it was kicking my ass. I was actually running like a jack, and I didn't see it, but that's what I would have guessed it was. It was a really big jack, but it, I hooked them before, and it, it screamed way the hell out there. Managed to turn it, probably about 50 yards left on one of those spinning reels, got all the way back, and it, it literally sped up towards, I saw my line go slack, and I saw it skid across the water, and it went up and under the dock. And I never actually did see it, but it was so fast. Yeah. No way in hell it was a drop. Yeah, I caught a permit out here on a crab. Really? Yeah, right in the corner. How big was that? 35 pounds. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's what it was. Yeah. Sure. Big old permit, dude. Yeah. I didn't even know they would come up in here. I didn't either because that was the first one I ever caught. And then I caught a bonnet on a crab yeah. just a couple of weeks back. That doesn't surprise me. But a bonnet head would fight like that. Yeah. No, a bonnet head literally just came to the... It didn't even feel yeah. really fight for it. Yeah, her. little sharks now. It's about, I don't know, three and a half foot. Yeah. Huh. Permit, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. I hooked it, man. Like, it took off screaming. I I, didn't, I knew it wasn't a drum. Yeah. You know, as fast as my abbot was smoking, man. I mean, yep. like, literally, the line, you could see it going like that in the, the spray. I had the same issue. Yeah. I was, I was like, sitting there, like, what the? I was looking at the other people around me, like, what the fuck is this? Like, yeah. Yep. I freaked out, but I wanted to hit on my smallest one. I hit on that spinner that's out this way. Oh, yeah. So, it had enough power and capacity, but like there's nothing I could do when it goes under the dock. I couldn't keep yeah. up with it. It literally wasn't fast enough to get well, the line back. What you have on um, I believe it was a crab, yeah. Yeah, probably a permit. It was a crab or a crab claw. It's one of the yeah. other. It was probably a permit, man. Most likely a permit or a big, or a big red. I just assumed it was a jack. Right. I talk to that, people and they're like, I've never seen a jack pull off this dock. I'm like, well, that's just my little bit. Oh, they're there. Other people are like, yeah, maybe it was a really big shark. I'm like, yeah, but what are the odds that a really big shark would eat crab like that? Right. Yeah, I freaked out when I caught that bonnet here. I, I didn't. I wasn't expecting that. I, and the crab wasn't even that big. It was like yeah. a four-inch crab huh. live. And I put it on and I shot it out there. And I just, I saw the rod start bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. And then it just all of a sudden, it just... It went with a quick, zzz, yeah. and I set it, hit it, and I felt a real fast head shake. Like, oh man, that, it's not a drum. I thought it was a hard head. I gave it to her, and she started reeling it in, and the damn thing just swam right to the pier. It didn't even fight. Got it here, and then once it got here, though, then it started thrashing and trying to get away. But it was already too late. And plus, I had it on a cable, yeah. you know, a coated cable leader. I always use coated cable out here because it's dang reefs. Yeah, I haven't learned my lesson yet. I use 80-pound mono and just replace it every two or three fish. Right. But it's worked so far for me. For your leader or for your main line? For, for the leader. leader. Oh. Yeah, I do 130 minimum. Uh, I've had those leaders on for months already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that one on that, that rod over there, man, that, I've had that Cody Cable leader since last season. I had to sharpen the hook today. He <laughs> was talking about the thumb. That one was a thumb. Well, when I, when I started sanding, I was taking the whole tip off a big old chunk of metal for like it was all rounded. Yeah. The, the crab. Uh -huh. But it was still catching fish. But it, you could tell it's all beat to hell. Yeah. The coated cable shit's already peeling yeah. off. Oh, I believe it. Yeah, I don't know why. I just, I just get into my head like, oh, every every two, every fish I check it. And then every two fish pretty much I just kind of walk and place it. 80 pound mono is dirt cheap. I mean, you get a, you get 150 yards of it for eight bucks. Right. So. Make a lot of leaders. Yeah. yeah, like he, he owns his own tackle shop in Corpus. Okay. Uh, hard hard life's bait and tackle. I got you. Yeah, I'm not in Corpus too often. There's unless I need something really weird that Rockport doesn't have. But. Well, uh, there in Tackle Town, I have my tackle in there. Okay. So. I got you. Yeah. yeah I hand tile my own leaders. I don't know. A lot of people around here do buy and make the pre-made ones, but yeah. that's just not how I grew up fishing. So yeah. I have no problem making my own leader.
Sputniks. There you go. But yeah, man, if you, uh, do you, do you make the weights too? The Sputniks? Surf, surf weight, well, not the Sputnik towel, but uh, we do do surf weights. Okay, pyramids, and triangles, pyramids, balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much hey, everything you can think of, yeah. Um, yeah, I need to get more claws if I actually plan on going on the surf. Yeah, there's a ton in there. I love the surf weights you make. I'm best on surf weights. I got some in there. Make them in all different sizes of the steel legs. And yeah, I got the current's real bad. Got 116 for light, light to medium surf, and then 330 seconds from medium to heavy, yeah. and then when it's rocking, you go to the 1 8 gauge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you'll see, check out our channels. He's got Team Real Locos, and I got Team Hard Life on YouTube. Okay, yeah, if you like fish rounds. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's my last trip because tomorrow I got a total hip replacement surgery scheduled, so I'm trying to get in. So you're fish. getting it in now? Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah. Recording so I can have something to do while I'm laid up in bed for yeah. a bit. So. No, I hear you. Uh, how long do they think you're going to be in bed? Well, they're talking. I should be on my feet within about two to four hours after the surgery is done. That's a, that's amazing, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And it's a full hip replacement surgery. Yeah, that's yeah. that's that's what's crazy about it. Yeah, still want to probably be casting for a bit. But. Yeah, now a few weeks at minimum is what I'm looking at to allow the skin to actually be fully healed and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I don't blame you for being out here tonight at all. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to give it till probably 8 or 9 because I still want to have some time with the kids before yeah. they go to bed. Because yeah, I won't see them until after the surgery tomorrow. I worked all last weekend, so this was my day off. So I was just like, I'm here in the afternoon to stay but Who knows when? Right. Mm -hmm. I get some fish. Oh, you can have the spot after we split. We're, like I said, we're taking off from I'd actually prefer you guys to stay here so I can have help with the net. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so take your time. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, the, I landed one a little while ago. It was 40, in, right at 40 inches. All the ones I catch out here are 40 inches. But it was, like within plus or minus two, like two inches. That's it. And, uh, but this thing was... Hefty. Yeah. Yeah, tall. massive. Yeah. Massive. Healthy, Every once in a while there's one that's way taller than the rest. Yeah. I have noticed that. Yeah. Oh, shit. You had me, though. Got me back. Good catch, man. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you a favor. You can take a picture on my phone too. Please. Sure can. You want to open down or side to side? Uh, if you don't mind doing one of each, that'd be great. As long as the fish is in focus, I don't care. Yeah, that's what I was telling him. A real black drum right there. Yeah, that's a good job, man. Awesome, thank you. Yep, yep. 
Yeah, as soon as you left, we started getting all these bikes, so we got to send Pretty Ricky back to the truck. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate that.